Kumusta po kayo? Ako si Jordan Briones from Briones Pickleball. In this video, I'm going to show you some really fun and practical drills that you can do that is going to improve your ball control, your dinks, and your volleys. I know a lot of you in the Philippines may still be on lockdown, and also you may not have access to courts like we do here in America. So hopefully this video will inspire you and know that you can always practice your game wherever you are and improve even if you don't have a court. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is how to practice your paddle and ball control. So this is really important, especially if you're just starting out. And this is something that you can do to improve your hand-eye coordination and also your paddle control with the paddle in your hand. All right, so I have a ball here and I have a paddle. It doesn't matter what kind you have, anything will work. And the first thing that I just want to make sure is that we're in the continental grip. So how do you get in that grip? Just as you were to shake somebody's hand, um, like I'm shaking your hand here, this is the continental grip. And just, just for clarification, I'll show a picture of that right now. All right, so now that we got our continental grip, that's really important so that when we are dinking and hitting volleys and any shot in pickleball, that we have a good grip for the forehand and the backhand side. So we're gonna take our ball and the first thing that we're going to do is just easily just bounce it up and down on our paddle, okay? We wanna focus on a couple key things, trying to get the ball in the middle of the paddle in the sweet spot every time, keeping our eye on the ball and our grip pressure, we want to make sure that we're not gripping it very, very tightly. We want to have a light grip pressure, and this will help when you're dinking and volleying as well. Okay, here we go. The forehand side. All right. So just, you can tell my control is, is really good. And it's easier to start off by bouncing the ball off of your paddle uh, fairly low like this. Okay. This, a lot easier to control than going like this. It's a little harder when you're going higher. So just start off with a nice low bounce and my grip pressure is very, very loose. I'm keeping my eye on the ball and trying to hit my sweet spot every time. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the backhand side. Same thing, focusing on the ball, looking at it, hit the sweet spot on my paddle every time. And I'm focused on my light grip pressure. All right. Okay. Now we'll get a little fancy. If that's too easy, we're going to alternate from forehand to backhand. And then after that, I'll show you a variation where you go forehand to the edge guard to the backhand. All right. So now let's do forehand to backhand. All right. Same things here. I'm focusing on the ball bouncing off my paddle and I'm switching it from forehand to backhand. And you'll notice here, if you have the correct continental grip, then it should be easy to switch back and forth. So you gotta make sure you're in that grip and also um, concentrating on that ball and having a light grip pressure. Okay, all right, so now what we're going to do is a little bit more advanced, we're going to bounce it off our forehand side onto the edge guard to the backhand side and then back to the edge guard to the forehand. All right, here we go. All right, so this is just really good for hand eye coordination and then to step it up a level you can go on to just the edge guard bounces here. Here we go. All right, so that takes a lot of practice, obviously. Start with the first two exercises that I just showed you, then work your way up to the edge guard bounces. All right, so as for paddle control, these are really good exercises that you can do. Remember, you're in that continental grip, you have a light grip pressure, you're keeping your eye on the ball and trying to hit that sweet spot each and every time. Now let's move on to dinking. All right, so now let's move on to some dinking. I'm going to show you some key fundamentals 
with your technique when dinking and these are something that you can practice against any wall. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a spot on the wall. I'm about, you know, seven to 10 feet back from the wall, okay, depending what kind of wall I have and making sure I'm that in that continental grip and also I have a, a light grip pressure, okay? On a scale of one to 10, it's a three or four and I'm not gripping it really tight so that I can feel and have that control. I'm thinking here, I'm gonna start with the forehand side, okay? I have this laid back wrist here, okay? So here, um, I, a lot of beginner players will dink like this, okay? So this is um, something that I would not recommend, okay? If I were to toss a ball, I just wanna show you this here. Okay, if I were just to toss a ball to you like this, just, just look at my hand position here, okay? It's just like this. So if I were to actually put the paddle in my hand, tossing it like that, my paddle would be in this natural laid back position. So when I'm thinking, I kind of want to be just like this. And on the backhand, it's like this. As I think, I'm going to be pushing from my shoulder here, okay? So like this, all right? I'm not flicking my wrist. I'm not doing any of that kind of thing like that. And you'll notice that my, my stance is in a good athletic stance, so I could be ready to move left and right. And you'll see here, I think it's just like this and I'm pushing up with my legs. You'll notice it's short, compact, all right? And uh, my contact point is always out in front. So now let's start with some forehands here. Hopefully you can see if this is good. So notice I'm getting low to the ball, my laid back wrist, like what I talked about, okay? And keeping my eye on the ball, trying to hit the sweet spot. And my contact point is out in front. And also don't forget that light grip pressure, three to four on a scale from one to 10. All right, so now let's jump onto the backhand side. We're gonna do the same thing. Remember on the backhand side, I'm pushing with my shoulder, okay? I have a little slight bend in my arm and I'm really controlling it from my legs and my shoulder. I'm not swinging, it's just a nice little upward push, upward motion, okay? Here we go, some backhands here. Notice too that my grip pressure is light again. Staying low to the ball, okay? And my contact point, as you can see, hopefully you can see in this angle, it's always out in front of me, okay? Every time that ball hits my paddle, I wanna make sure it's out in front and I can see it out in front because you're going to always have the most control when you're seeing the ball out in front of you and that ball is contacting out in front of your body. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to hit some forehands and then some backhands. All right, so if you have to move your feet to get a good contact point out in front, after I hit this forehand, I might slide over, hit a backhand, slide over, hit a forehand. Here we go. Same kind of things. Notice my grip pressure. I'm trying to aim for the same spot. Okay. Same spot every single time. And my contact point. Super. Remember, I'm not, this is not a swing. I'm pushing from my shoulder, lifting up. All right. It's not that much effort. All I'm doing letting the ball come in my paddle and I'm doing a slight lift. All right. All right, so that's the basics and essentials for dinking. Remember, this whole exercise and the whole purpose of this is to really get better ball control and feeling the ball and controlling the ball. Now, let's move on to some volleys. Now, when we're volleying, we wanna make sure uh, we're not swinging, okay? There's a difference between a swinging volley and more of a traditional volley. Right now we're going to talk about just hitting traditional volleys. Every player needs to be able to hit um, regular traditional volleys because you're going to hit a lot of volleys when you're up close to the net. When I volley, all I'm doing is pushing out towards my target, okay? That's my forehand and then my backhand is here. You'll notice my paddle face is faced towards my target and you'll notice here, um, right here, it's just a push, okay? You can see that 
Um, I don't have my, my paddle down like this. It's up here. My, ri my wrist, especially on my backhand side, you can tell it's kind of cocked and locked in. Okay, so I have sta a stable grip here and I'm just pushing out. Okay, this is my backhand side, all right? And then my forehand would be just like this, all right? So it's just a nice compact stroke. going to hop on to backhand volleys and I'll show you that now. and then back in. Alright, so those are the exercises that you can do against a wall. Remember, a wall is great because the ball comes back to you each and every time. Also, if you do have a partner and you have two paddles and a ball, uh, now I'm going to show you some things that you can do anywhere. And all you need really is kind of something in the middle of you two and you can dink or volley over that. So I'll show you a little compilation here uh, that we made. Now we'll show you a couple clips here. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed those clips that we put together for you. Just know that if you don't have a court to play on, you can always practice and improve your game. I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting us here on this channel. Remember, if you wanna stay connected and you want more tips on pickleball strategy and other pickleball tips, follow us on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Briones Pickleball. We would really appreciate it. And also for more pickleball content, go to brionispickleball.com. That's our website and that's how you can get connected with us. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. And we will see you in the next video. See you later.